everybody, it's Crystal. I wanted to come on here today and share some wonderful information that I've been getting through my own experiences and then also through the information that I've been tapping into. These waves of energy, these ascension waves of energy that we've been receiving now have been coming in so consistently and so strongly. And so I want to start to talk to everybody about how we can navigate our way through these energies. When the energy comes in and it's extremely strong, it's really going to propel us into the higher frequencies. Um, it doesn't matter if we reside there on a regular basis or even if our intention is to be in these higher frequencies. These waves of energy are coming in, impacting our own energy field of our body. They are impacting our DNA and our molecules, the way our cells are interacting, the way our brain is sending uh, and receiving information, um, as well as the rest of our body and the way we're able to under understand information that comes in through the clairs. So when the energy comes in and it's really, really high, it just propels us all. And this can be felt as being a extremely blissful wave of energy coming in. And, you know, you just experience these days that are just magical. But then there's also people that experience these energy waves as being a little intense and at times that can bring them into some old thought patterns. And so this is kind of where I wanted to go with this. The information that I've been receiving from the guidance is that our healing for the most part as the light working collective, the healing of our ancestral um, traumas and childhood things that have happened, relationship things that have happened, all of these things that have happened within our life that have been building and building and building over the years, it really all has been cleaned out. Now some people can sit and listen to that and say, well, if that's true, then why do I feel this way? Why are these things still coming up? Why do I still have these same feelings? And when we talk to the guides about this, what they're saying is because you still have um, the thoughts and the belief systems that are around yourself in the creation of who you are, the ideas of who you want people to see you as. And when we still have these thought systems and belief systems about ourselves, even though the healing of the vibration that started it is done, if you're still replaying these thought programs, these belief systems, you're going to keep yourself in that same loop of energy. So, <clears throat> At some point, we have to begin to deprogram some of these third dimensional thoughts and belief systems. Um, and what exactly does that mean? Well, for me, that means, um, you know, the victimhood mentality, the I can't mentality. Uh, other people have everything I want and I am just not quite there. Uh, we have to begin to reprogram those thoughts and those beliefs into believing that you are capable and limitless at this time. Otherwise, the universe can never even begin to show it to you. So then you have the energy feeding back in saying, okay, well, this is what you're thinking about. So this is what you get. And then as a human being, we're like, well, this is what my reality is showing me. So it must be true. I'm not capable. And what the guidance is coming forward to um, help us remember is that we are now in the fifth dimension. We are now in the fifth dimension. We are existing here. Our healing has been complete and we have crossed into the threshold of living in a fifth dimensional reality energetically. Yes, it hasn't completely manifested itself around us. We do need to continue to build momentum in a collective energy to get that kind of pop so that we can move into the dimension of fifth, sixth, seventh and higher. But right now, the Lightworking Collective and some even of just the human collective in general have moved into this fifth dimensional space through our heart center. 
Now, we keep creating these same experiences, though, because we keep expecting things to be the way they've always been because the energy hasn't yet showed us proof. Well, in everything that you've been studying through your growth, through your shadow work, through your ascension process, you have to know by now that things exist before you can see them. So what does that mean for you? That means that you have to begin to feed the energy that already exists, even though you may not see it. So <clears throat> believing in the fifth dimensional um, abilities of your, your human body now, believing in the ability for your consciousness to tap in to other waves of thought, whether it's just information existing in the quantum field within the universe that you want to tap in and bring in. You want to bring in some new technologies. You want to bring in some new healing inventions and modalities that we can really start to put to work. We do have access to these things, but if you believe that you can't, you can't. And so the guides have been coming in and they're like, you guys pull it together pull it together. You have to begin to believe that we are capable in doing and experiencing and manifesting things that we haven't yet seen. And even in the willing, the willingness to be open to the thought that maybe there are, maybe there is light energy shooting off from your fingertips consistently and directing in all different directions and you just can't see it. So you don't believe in it but it could already be there. You could be telepathically communicating with everybody around you, but because you haven't worked on your sensitivities, you don't know it's there. The guides are saying, believe, believe, because everything is here for us. So really get in and work with reprogramming your mind and deprogramming any third dimensional thoughts about your body, the way it exists, maybe by the things that it's eating, drinking, your hips that run in the family. I mean, all of these little things that we think of throughout the day. It is time to reprogram ourselves and let these things go because we are no longer that version of who we once were. The next thing that I do want to talk about, which is so exciting for me, is ride the waves as they take you further but give up trying to control your ascension and begin to control the only thing that we have control over, which is our own interaction with energy. So many times people think that we have to direct ourselves in all of these different ways so that we can ascend in this area and, and, and make sure that we're transmuting this over here and you know this shadow work that we will um, get into in another video because it'll be a whole nother video in itself. But the shadow work that seems never ending, all of these things have all of our attention and we think that we have to control it and that's what it means to ascend. And what the guides are really trying to bring back into the forefront of your mind is that, well, your heart more than anything, is that the only thing you have control over is your own inner energy so begin to find your balance when your healing's all complete what's next well it's all about the inner balance find stability within this new version of you integration rejuvenation and rest when that energy comes in yes it propels us and we feel great so many times but then when it moves back out, it's kind of like it's left us up hanging in the air with the clouds and we fall back down to earth. It doesn't have to be that way. The energy pulls back out to give us the opportunity to hold ourselves there. Where did we move within our stability with this last wave that came in? I know a lot of people lately after this wave moved out around Sunday evening, Monday early morning, began to feel a lot of heaviness setting in. Well, that heaviness is because you were propelled by all of this high vibrational energy that had come in. And now as it moved out, we're not doing the same things that maybe it takes for us to do in this human form to keep us in that vibration where source just had us. We have to practice um, holding ourselves in these super high blissful states. It's the only way that we're going to be able to find stability with the... Mm, I guess 
level of energy that's coming in for us. Right now, it's really good time to let go of what's no longer serving us. When this time of integration comes in, when these waves roll back out and we feel like we just, you know, some people want to sleep for days, other people are trying to consume a lot of food to create density and ground themselves and, you know, other people, they just want to cry and cry and cry because that's their way of releasing the energy that's no longer serving them. That's what this integration, rejuvenation and rest period is all about. And as long as we stop fighting these waves, the energy is going to take us for a really wild ride. But we have to begin to surrender. We have to create in the mind's eye, create through your own inner energy. Pay attention to the intolerances that you have and that you give off when your belief systems are being challenged and when your thoughts and ideas are being challenged. Um, because these vibrations are some of the things that are keeping us stagnant that are what's really falling away right now. So. When these waves come in, take it for what it's worth, feel it, ask your guidance team to give you practices and ideas on how to really maintain this when the energy moves out. And then when the energy moves out, keep yourself in your practice to hold yourself there a little longer. When you feel yourself starting to fall and you feel yourself starting to come back down from that very high frequency that just came in, allow yourself to be in that space. Don't question it. Don't think something's wrong. Don't think something's coming up for you to heal. It's time for you to rest and let go. It's time for you to rejuvenate and release the old frequencies that this huge wave just came in and shifted for us. When we receive these huge waves of energy and then the integration and rest period comes and we're sitting there feeling all this shifting and movement and emotion and maybe our body is just feeling more lethargic and we're sitting there going, God, what is wrong with me? Why do I keep doing this? Nobody else is in this space. Nobody else feels this way. Why isn't anybody else you know, going through what I'm going through? When you do that, you create more work for yourself. This energy just came in and moved you into a higher frequency. The capability of what you're now able to access is huge. And when source and your guides ask you to rest and integrate this energy and you get in your head about it, it's almost as though you kind of undo everything that we are just propelled into, which means the next time this waves in, you kind of have to re-clear out everything that that wave was meant to clear. So ride the wave, allow yourself to be in a space of flowing more freely within your energy. If you feel down, you feel down. Give yourself some love. Do the things that you know you can do to just give yourself a little bit of ease and relief. Don't beat yourself up for being there. These waves are going to pro propel us further and further and further in the coming months. And the coming full moon and the coming fall equinox are going to be outrageous. So now is a beautiful time to begin to practice as these waves come in and out almost every single day now. Some of them obviously weigh stronger than others, but we are seeing massive fluctuations in energy constantly. Practice riding the waves. Know when to be in your bliss and know when to integrate and allow yourself the love and rest that it needs so that you can continue this movement forward. When we surrender to these energies and we don't push against them so much, the integration periods can be just as blissful as those high waves of energy that we receive. So I want you to know that there is hope outside of this feeling that I know the collective is sitting in for the past few days. I know when these waves go out, things can feel heavy but I want you to consider what you're letting go of, what the collective is letting go of, and kind of sit and just contemplate like what the energy is and what can be done in the moment to allow yourself some relief and give yourself some love and 
meditation is a beautiful thing to just rest the body, be on the verge of sleep, allow your consciousness to just float around. Um, you can ask your guidance team to bring you into the healing beds if you need to and just really feel the white light of source coming in through the crown, going through the entire chakra system and down out through the feet. Um, it's a very easy practice that you can do to kind of give yourself a new, like a shower, you know, clean off all the debris that's kind of just existing around you and allow yourself to come back into your state of being, the essence of who you are, where there's clarity and clean energy and that fun creative space. So I hope you guys are doing well. I just wanted to touch base because I know there's a lot of people out there in the collective that are having some hard times when these bigger waves move out and so I hope this video is really helpful for you and if you find it helpful why don't you go ahead and like it for me and then other people can find this awesome video too because I think this is something that we need to talk about. I really like getting into the practicality of how we can work with this energy because it's one thing to know that it's there but the next step in that, the next step in the evolution of that is utilizing it every single day. You are not this small, third-dimensional human being. You are expansive. And you are so capable. I love you so much. I can't wait till we can do this again.